The back is a very important muscle because it's what really adds thickness to your torso, giving that impression of muscularity. Also, the back really supports your spine and all your body, and is having a strong back really means being strong overall. As you know, like the deadlift, which is one of the best compound moves that you can do, is the ultimate measure of strength, lifting a weight off the ground. And all of this move really is focused on the back strength. So the pulling moves are the domain of the back. So any movement that involves pulling towards your body involves your lats in a way. It's very important in order to achieve a full back development to understand how to isolate each part of your back since the back is a very big muscle. So think about the angles the arms form with your body. So from lower, like a low angle to a high angle and how inversely you involve different parts of the back. So if you have a low angle, you're involved in the upper part of your back. For example, if you do upright rows, which is the lowest angle that you can use, you're involving your traps, which is the highest part of your back. If you are doing bent over rows, your arms are in front of you, you're involving your mid back. If you're doing pull downs, you're using your lats. And the further back you move, the lower part of your lats you're using. So if you're doing pull downs behind your neck, you're involving really the low part of your lats. If you're doing pull downs or pull ups to your chest, you're involving the mid and the lower part of your lats. Another thing that I really like to emphasize, and the pull up move is a clear example of this, is the dynamic response of your body to movement. If you're doing a pull down, which apparently is very similar to a pull up, you know, technically you're just doing the same movement and involving the same muscles. But because you're sitting down in a more artificial way with the pull down, your body responds in a different way. When you do the pull ups, your body's moving through space. And because you're made, your body is made of a nervous system as well as muscles, the stimulus that you receive from a pull up is far superior than what you get from a normal pull down. Um, also, you are using other muscles in order to stabilize your move if you do it really controlled and you involve your core in a different way as well. Another basic exercise for the back is the bent over row. In fact, I always begin my back workout with the bent over row. I think it's the top exercise for adding thickness to your back. First of all, you're bent over, so you're really isometrically contracting your lower back, which helps you when you do deadlifts as well but also you're really adding thickness to your mid-back, you're involving your rear delts and it helps developing this you know, part of your shoulder which is normally neglected and overall it really gives you strength and this is a very important exercise.